Psychology Shark presents Psychopath vs. Sociopath, the distinctions explained. When we hear the terms psychopath and sociopath, we tend to assume they mean the same thing. However, there are significant differences between the two that many people are unaware of. Although they share some similarities, psychopathy and sociopathy are distinct disorders. Here are five key differences between the two to help you better understand them. Difference number one, origins. Psychopathy is considered an innate disorder, something a person is born with and passes down through genetics. Studies have shown that the brain function of a psychopath is fundamentally different from that of a normal individual due to structural differences. On the other hand, sociopathy is more influenced by environmental factors such as childhood trauma or abusive upbringing. Sociopaths are not born with any disorders, but rather develop them over time. Difference number two, emotional stability and criminal behavior. Psychopaths are more likely to engage in criminal activities because they lack empathy for others. They are skilled manipulators and spend a great deal of time calculating their actions. Psychopaths often commit white collar crimes and are known for their ability to remain calm under pressure. Sociopaths, on the other hand, are more impulsive and prone to fits of rage. They have difficulty coping with stress and are more likely to interpret others' behavior as hostile, leading to revenge-driven actions. Sociopaths' crimes are often less thought out and more sloppy. Difference number three, social interactions. Psychopaths are skilled manipulators who can mask their true nature and appear normal and trustworthy. They excel at reading people's emotions and use that knowledge to manipulate others for personal gain. Sociopaths, on the other hand, are often socially awkward and may be perceived as weird or off. They have difficulty maintaining jobs and tend to prioritize their own interests over others. Difference number four, conscience. Psychopaths lack a conscience and do not feel remorse for their actions. They can lie and manipulate without any sense of guilt. Sociopaths, on the other hand, have a vague and disregarded conscience. They may recognize that their actions are wrong, but continue to engage in them regardless. Difference number five, relationships. Psychopaths struggle to form genuine relationships and often resort to shallow or fake relationships where they have control. They see others as pawns to be manipulated for their benefit. Sociopaths can form relationships, but they tend to be unhealthy and unstable due to their emotional volatility. While psychopaths may mimic a normal and happy life, sociopaths are less concerned with how they are perceived by others. It's important to note that not all individuals with psychopathy or sociopathy are violent, but there is a potential for danger due to their lack of empathy and emotional instability. These individuals often try to live seemingly normal lives while dealing with their disorders. What are your thoughts on this topic? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Thank you for watching.